my name is Thomas Lee, I'm the customer service representative here at Sismo. It's a pleasure to be speaking to you now face to face for the first time. And uh, today we're going to look at the fire suppression panel. In my hands I'm holding an original piece and uh, we're going to compare it to the one made by Sismo. So if you just come over here, we're going to have a look. So, right here we've got the levers as you can see. We've got a project ahead of us. There's the enunciators which press working on here. Well, it's a very nice piece. It's not from the 737NG, but it's a very nice piece nonetheless. So we had a look at this, and we've made our own panel. Let's have a look. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's very well made. The paint job is excellent. The enunciators, well, they're a little bit different. They don't have the pressing function. But nonetheless, they are very close to the original. Another thing I suppose we could talk about, locking levers. And another excellent part of the Sismo gear are the switches. So these are real locking lever switches. As you can see, you pull them out and you can push them to the side. This is very hard to find. And now there are two options which we offer on our shop. One is for the metallic looking caps. And here you have the real toggle switches, very nice quality. So these we just put on here. Oop. There we go. Very simple to do, and it looks and feels excellent, top quality, very nice. Now about the locking, these levers. These levers are really the thing which makes us stand out as a company because these have, look at this aluminium block right there. All of that is stopping you from being able to pull out this lever. So one of the stories we hear about from people is that, you know, you get nervous, you hear the fire warning, you pull, and you take the panel with you. And we have, as you can see, each and every one is, um, is heavily protected against that, so it's impossible that that will happen to you. Now, the other thing I suppose we could talk about is how hard it is. This is quite, it's got a lot of pressure in it. That's, it's all made in metal, and this front frame is aluminium. So you can pull it hard. If you're a real pilot and you're using a simulator, you have no need to worry about this part. You can use it for real. It's not going to break. It also has special cables here. These cables do not break and you can be using them well, probably for 10 years or more. Another part. I really like these plastic parts we've used for the lights here. I think it's a nice detail. These are on off switches. All in all, a beautiful part. So I'm going to connect the lights now for you to see what it looks like when it's plugged in. You can see the back line travel through there. Very nice lights. Two different colors of the annunciators. I plug the back lighting in. Obviously, it's not going to look the same as when you have it connected to your pedestal. But you can see, it also has the back lighting for the letters and the paint job. So, remember that when you're buying one of these, you're buying not only quality products, but you're also investing in the software. So we have SC Pascal software, which easily lets us test if one of these uh, is if it's working. You can do that very easily. And also we offer data sheets online. And what you can do with the data sheets is look into where each pin is connected to the module. So you can make your own wiring schedule if you want. And um, that's all I have to say for now. Thank you for listening and uh, I hope to see you next time.